It's Halloween time and I wanted to try this super fun challenge called pumpkin rubber band roulette. Essentially you take a pumpkin and you put enough rubber bands around it, rubber bands apply enough force that eventually the rubber bands implode the pumpkin. But the problem is, is you don't know when that's gonna happen. Or do you? You actually don't, that's what makes it roulette. But we're gonna try it, because it's gonna be really fun. Last year, we deep froze a pumpkin and then shattered it. It was the first ever pumpkin shattering. The video was very popular, actually, and I went down to Australia uh, to basically do that exact same experiment, and then again on NBC's Today Show. So it was a hit, to say the least. This year, though, we're not just going to play pumpkin rubber band roulette. We're gonna do something different. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill the pumpkin with highlighter fluid, not lighter fluid, but literally like fluid that we make out of highlighter water. Pumpkin-y. Then we're gonna put black lights next to the pumpkins so that when the pumpkin eventually implodes, the pumpkin rubber band roulette loser will have to wear the glowing loser liquid of shame. So for this game of pumpkin roulette, I'm going to be facing off with the one and only, the beautiful Kylie Erica Mar. My girlfriend. <laughs> How you doing, Hi. Okay, I'm predicting right off the bat that this is gonna take 121 rubber bands. Kylie says... Over 200. Over 200. It's really more of like a team sport right now. And uh, so I started thinking about that a little more, about glowing pumpkin juice, because I think about glowing pumpkin juice all the time. <laughs> and I started thinking, why is it that black lights make things glow? Black lights emit UVA rays, the type of UV rays that don't make you tan. So a rave is not the place to work on getting color. Natural color. What you see glowing in the presence of a black light are called phosphors. A phosphor is any substance that emits visible light in response to some sort of radiation. In our case, it's the UV radiation of the black light. Things that contain phosphors are your teeth, fingernails, laundry detergent, hence why your shirt blings in the black light, and most fluorescent items like highlighters and glow-in-the-dark products. Uh, so this is just going too slow. And at this point, we kind of really just don't care uh, who ends up wearing the pumpkin. We just want to make sure it happens. Thanks. Seeing some distortion. Yeah. Definitely seeing some distortion. Is it like all of them coming out? 125. I'm six away from winning this thing. 95. So the pumpkin definitely split at 198 rubber bands. So cool with the black light because it looks like it's like totally from outer space. Like, what is this? It kind of looks like a man bun, actually. <laughs> uh, this is 100, 198 rubber bands, all where they should be at their natural state, not in this giant radius of the pumpkin. It's actually, uh, it looks like spaghetti on it the kind of does yeah. look like spaghetti. I've never seen it quite like that. There was literally no warning. It just exploded. There was no warning. That was one of the things about it. There was no <laughs> warning. I screamed. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let us know in the comment section below if you were surprised uh, with the way this thing turned out. How many rubber bands did you think it was gonna take? And it's just not the coolest thing ever. I mean, come on, seriously, like this glowing pumpkin juice, like this is just kind of ridiculous. Have a happy Halloween, and don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week. I love how we find more creative ways to murder pumpkins every year. <laughs> That's what we do.